Hello foodies! Today we're making these delicious fluffy flaxseed pancakes. The flax makes it sort of healthy-ish with all them essential omega-3s and such. To start, I have a cup of chilled all-purpose flour in a chilled bowl. Then I'll add a tablespoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and four tablespoons of organic ground flaxseed. This will give each serving a good dose of omega-3, fiber, and antioxidants. Then mix it all up with a whisk before we add our secret ingredient to this super fluffy recipe, which is shortening. I'm using two tablespoons of Earth Balance Vegan Shortening. You can also use either refined or unrefined chilled coconut oil. I used a chilled pastry cutter to cut it in until the largest pieces are about the size of a pea. You can also use two knives held together if you don't have a pastry cutter like this one. Then in goes the plant milk. I'm using soy, but you can use any kind you like. Don't forget a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, which makes these extra nice. Stir everything so it's combined. It'll look a bit lumpy like this. Next, heat up your non-stick pan on medium-high heat. Test that it's hot enough by sprinkling a little water. It'll evaporate right away like this, if it is. Then, use a ladle to spoon out about a third cup of batter onto your pan. I'm kind of spreading it out a bit as I made a mess, but you shouldn't have to. It'll spread out on its own. As you can see in this sped up footage, it will spread as it cooks. The edges will start to get dry looking and you'll see some bubbles on top. This takes about a minute or two. At this point, get your spatula under there and carefully flip it over. Leave it alone for another minute. You can see the shortening melting and spitting out those bubbles. When it stops spitting, you'll know that the pancake is ready to go. I like to put the done pancakes in the oven with the oven light on to keep everything hot while the rest get cooked. And that's it! Plate those fluffy pancakes, add some earth balanced butter, which if you don't know tastes just like high quality butter but it's vegan. And of course I'm adding some Canadian maple syrup because I'm Canadian, eh? And so next time you want some freaking deliciousness for breakfast, I hope you give these a try. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more easy vegan recipes. I post a new one every Friday. Check out last week's mango videos if you missed one. One sweet and one savory. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if there's something you'd like to see veganized for a future video. Leave it in the comment section below or reach out on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I'll leave links in the description below. Bye for now!